I'm Cerise Rennie Murphy, author of Order of the Seers, and if you're out there listening to this, thank you so very much. Uh, it's very cool. Um, I wanted to share with you what got me started writing in the first place. Um, let's see, I probably started writing poetry uh, in ninth grade uh, because of a poem uh, by Alexander Pope called The Rape of the Lock. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty random poem uh, that uh, we had to read in English literature, and uh, I still have the book right here. Thank you so much, Miss McCarthy. I remember uh, back in the day, uh, you giving us this big book to read, and little did I know um, how much it would change my life and how much it would uh, inspire me uh, to love language and storytelling and the art of that. Um, even before I ever thought I could write a story. So anyway, back to The Rape of the Lock. It is essentially a poem about a man who cuts off a lock of this woman's hair that he's totally infatuated with. But it is, it takes that tiny little event and it turns it into this epic event that is funny and heart-wrenching and, and desperate and beautiful. And it just, it, it was just riveting to me. I remember running home with big old English lit book and reading it to my mother and my sister. And I don't think that they had the same love for it that I did, but it just opened up this whole world for me about what you could do with words. And um, I, I probably started writing poetry around then. Um, there was lots of, there was a lot of emotional stuff going in my house, going on in my house at the time anyway. And uh, poetry just seemed like a really great way to let that out. Um, I also started keeping a diary and journaling around that same time. So I wrote poetry and journaled well, well shoot, I'm doing it now, but um, started around ninth grade and continued all through college um, and through my 20s um, without sharing it with anybody. Um, and to me, you know, honestly, I never felt a need to do that. Um, you know, for me, poetry, if it was a good poem if it expressed what I was feeling at the time. And that was it. Um, and to some extent, I still approach my writing that way. Um, it has to entertain me first and it has to, you know, be compelling to me. Um, and that's sort of the first line of, of whether or not it's, it's any good. Um, let's see. So that's really what got me started. Um, and then... About two years ago, uh, I had started thinking about writing stories um, because I had just finished the Twilight series and was absolutely obsessed and in love with it and uh, I am Team Edward. And <laughs> for those who care, um, and was waiting in between movies and like couldn't read the book five more times or the series five more times. And so I started reading fan fiction. And it, it's hard to express what a powerful experience that was for me. For folks who don't know what fan fiction is, basically you take any original work. It could be a book like Twilight or um, The X-Files, um, which I'm a huge fan of, and was actually my first experience with fan fiction. And you have people who, are, who love the series and just write stories based on those original uh, stories or characters um, or take those original stories or plot lines and then do something completely different with them. But it's all sort of under the umbrella of fan fiction in that it's inspired by an original piece um, uh, and then someone sort of builds on that. So uh, yeah, so I started uh, reading Twilight fan fiction and just was floored by the quality of the writing of these people who do it for no other reason than they love the series, they love the characters, they love to write. I mean, people have posted like multiple novel length stuff on uh, different fan fiction sites. And uh, so I was just really inspired by that. Inspired enough to write the first poem that I had written in maybe like eight years. Um, yeah, just reading a fan fiction piece uh, that was just amazing and just opened up a whole different world to me. And uh, I wrote a poem uh, based on that. 
And uh, from there, uh, I wrote uh, my first fan fiction short story uh, called Spirit to Flesh. And uh, I talked about that a little bit on another video, um, which was just, again, a revelation because I didn't think that I could write anything longer than a poem. Um, I just didn't think I had the attention span for it. But um, I had an idea based on... Um, a movie called The Love Letter and obviously the Twilight series and just sort of combine those two and uh, wrote it. And it was it was just joy. It was just joy from the start to the end, to the middle, to the beginning. Just seeing myself be able to do it was just, it, it, still, it still gives me chills every time I think about it because it was something I never saw myself doing. And uh, to be able to do it. And then when I put it out to be able to get good feedback that it wasn't like a complete festering turd, <laughs> that was something worth writing and reading uh, was, was just such a, such a joy. And if I hadn't done that, I wouldn't have had the confidence, the courage um, to try something original, um, which order of the series is. So anyway, uh, that is how I started writing. And, uh, I think I'm going to talk a little bit more about Order of the Seer specifically and what it's about and what are some of the themes uh, that uh, might interest you. So take care and I'll see you soon.